Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These are general messages so they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. These messages can also be vice versa. So let's see what's going on with Aquarius. What is going on with Aquarius? Okay. All right, Eight of Swords. And the Four of Swords. Some of you have been kind of stuck in your head about something. You're going to find yourself getting out of that, okay? You're not going to be stuck for long. I see you figuring something out and then moving forward. This could be to do with love. This could be to do with your career or your personal life. But... Yeah, you're definitely finding a way out of your situation, whatever it is that you're dealing with. And it's through your intuition. So you're needing to put your focus on your intuition, like listen to what your gut is telling you about something, about a person, about your job, about an idea that you want to pursue. Because that's what's going to, that's where you're going to get the answer from. I see that you're going to be creating something really amazing. Something positive. This could also be you get into a good place with the person that you're with. We have the Ace of Wands, so there could be a new beginning here in love. Okay, I'm seeing that. Well, we got gift given here. So for some of you, it may be good to make peace with someone by buying them a gift. I don't know why I'm getting that. So if it's someone that you're in a relationship with or, or a family member, someone you need them to make peace with, get them a gift is what I'm seeing. <laughs> this will resolve. This is like your advice section. So if you're trying to make peace, buy someone something. You don't have to be expensive, okay? <laughs> um, well, let me see. I see things turning around for you and you're going to be doing a lot of getting together with friends a lot of you know drinking doesn't i don't mean like getting drunk but like a lot of getting together here this is going to kind of raise your spirit and allow you to attract more so don't don't um skip out on an invitation okay <laughs> This will help to raise your, your vibration, help you manifest the things that you want because you'll be happy and laughing and smiling. And that's the type of energy you need to be in when it comes to getting what you want. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo here, but let's see what's going on. Okay, before I even start, we have a dream come true. What's going on with Aquarius when it comes to love? Sadness and grief. So there could be a situation. Yeah. Confusion. Sadness. So something in your love life, like I said, with those swords that came out earlier, you're trying to figure out what's going on. So there's confusion here. You got sadness and grief, but you also got dream come true. So you're figuring it out here. And you got contracts. You're figuring out how to make it work when it comes to your love life, your connection. You have passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You have red flags. Pay attention to the red flags and signs are cautioning you. Finance and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Past life relationship, you've known each other before. And it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I'm seeing that... You may have noticed some type of red flag or your person is dealing with financial issues or you are. But like I said, there's there's a, there's this whole clouded situation where you don't know what's what's going on. You're thinking about it, you feel stuck. Then something hits you, okay? Something's going to hit you soon, you're going to realize what it is you need to do. For the person that Aquarius has in mind, what's their energy towards Aquarius? We got the fool. There's someone here who may take a leap towards you, but right now it could be them dealing with the financial issues because they have the ten of wands, so they have a burden right now. Maybe they're taking care of someone or they have a lot building up. They're trying to buy things for everyone for the holidays. I see them taking a leap towards you, but it's going to be after they 
get rid of what's what's weighing them down so it's up to them um, to figure out their life figure out what's going on clear it up before they can move towards you three of swords in reverse as well so they, they might even be healing from something deeper than just you know some financial issues maybe they have deeper issues than that but i see them stepping into a good energy with the magician so that's just temporary what's aquarius energy towards their person could be a libra for some of you but it seems like you feel that the situation is unfair and you're not really wanting to put in any effort i feel like you feel they should be the ones to step forward to step up we have the king of pentacles yes you're definitely focusing on your financial situation at the moment you're definitely trying trying to set your straight your oh my gosh <laughs> trying to set yourself straight at the moment and you're trying to get out of this sword energy again you've got this four of swords in reverse so you just really want to get out of this frustrating situation i see that some of you want to come out of being on a break with your person as well so what's the mutual energy here there's still a, a very strong attraction there's still a lot of love ten of cups but both of you are, are trying to make decisions right now two of swords you're in decision making mode as for when it comes to the future so they're trying to make decisions for their life. You're trying to make decisions. This is kind of holding you guys apart. But the love and the, the attraction is still there. It's unaffected by anything that's going on. Could be a Libra some of you are dealing with. What's coming up in the near future for Aquarius and their connection? Completion. It's not going to be perfect overnight. I'm sorry, I don't know why people do that, but they're just so loud. Anywho, Ten of Swords, Page of Cups in reverse. This is not going to be easy. I see you guys making it with this person, but it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be a walk in the park. It's going to involve having to forgive the past, having to move on, having to heal. You guys may, you know find that you don't want to apologize or that they haven't apologized right away to you there's still forward movement i see some of you some of you might be wrapping wrapping it up or ending a situation with someone from the recent past and for others of you i'm seeing that it might be on and off with this person because again we got this eight of cups energy which means again you guys are pulling away even after you make up again seeing a reason to take some time for yourself again so it's almost like a back and forth thing here until you feel like you've made up your mind or they have if it's vice versa so let me look at your main spread see what's going on okay What's going on with Aquarius when it comes to love? What's going on with Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know? Leo for some of you Libra again my goodness this person is having a hard time making decisions when it comes to love and relationships because they I feel like they're being weighed down by life itself okay four of wands as mutual energy you guys are still that stable couple like you your your emotions are mutually for each other they're stable there's like there's there's a love and a respect that's there that's acknowledged but i feel like life is pulling you guys away pulling you guys in other directions this person seeing you as pulling away from them you're seeing them as drama like you guys have some conflicts going on and 
I feel like you're waiting for this person to show some type of emotional response or, you know, show you something, but they're not. I see you remaining positive throughout the situation. This person's trying to find the balance in their life at the moment. Why are the two of wands in reverse? Could be a Scorpio for some of you. They are having a hard time moving on from you. They don't, I don't see them moving on from you, but I see them having a hard time making a decision about what to do from here, where to go from here. Almost to the point where they put that on hold to focus on the financial issues they have going on. So again, it's like, it's no bad energy towards you. It's just life, you know. Why the justice? Why justice? They're going to start to see a fair solution or see what's been going, what they've been doing wrong. King of Swords here. So th this person is going to figure it out and try and find a logical explanation, logical reasoning here to make it fair. Why the Seven of Swords? Yeah. They may have tried to reach out to you or made some type of gesture, got no response. So they're seeing you as running away from them. This could be vice versa. It's making them feel like they don't have a choice here. They just have to wait it out, figure it out. Why the five of wands? Yeah, so you have more, wow, <laughs> a lot of moon energy. The moon and the Ace of Cups both have the moon in it. Pisces, Cancer energy. So back and forth with, um, with, with conf I was gonna say conflict and arguments at the same time. Well, both conflict, arguments, five of, five of Wands energy. Oh my God, man, when I read for air signs, I just, I just, my speech. <laughs> but anyways, you're pulling away because of because of the the drama and i feel like you just feel you don't have the answers and what you need to do because i'm remembering those sword cards that came up for you is not bust your brain on this just leave it to the universe stop trying to figure it out you're just stressing yourself out even more i feel like if i was to give you the best answer is that this person is just dealing with a lot of financial issues life is on their back right now and they're having a hard time with that, much less with the with the relationship. So give it time. Why the King of Swords? Yeah, it's like you're just waiting. Deep down you know that there is no like bad blood. This person isn't like against you, but you still need answers. Why the Page of Swords? Okay. I see you getting the answers you want, the answers you need, because Page of Swords, Ten of Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords is now in reverse. So someone is no longer running from the connection, but you also have the Eight of Cups again, which means you do end up running. Like I don't know if you you guys make up, then you just feel like it's not stable yet, so you run away again. I don't know, there's a back and forth going on with, between you two, but this person is still in love with you, like they're not moving on. So that's a great thing, but it's about figuring this out so that there's no back and forth anymore. Some of you are seeing this as a risk, like you feel like you're risking something if you were to just give your whole self to this person, or they may feel that way. And so there's a push and pull when it comes to you giving them energy and then you take it back. Oh boy, and then maybe maybe it's something to do with the trust. Maybe someone betrayed the other person's trust in the past and it's like hell to trust each other again. It's hell building the trust. So it's like just that back and forth and someone just is having to deal with it. Whoever did the deception. What is going on? What's the advice for Aquarius? win-win outcome is forecast again with the libra energy communication is key gemini energy these are your two other air signs aquarius libra and gemini 
So communication is, is key here. You guys need to speak. I feel like the, the less you speak, the more you're going to run away from each other. But we have a tough, the end of a, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Capricorn energy. So this push and pull may be temporary, may be annoying, but temporary. Don't let your past hold you back. So there is something that happened in the past here for a lot of you that is causing this relationship to be this way, to be push and pull, to have like this fear of trusting the other person. Someone just doesn't feel like it's safe for, you, for them to love. You or them, you don't feel like it's safe to love. So it's constantly running, but wanting to be together, but running. We have let go. You're ready. Look for a sign and not the right time. So maybe the push and pull is that you're trying to make it work and it's not the right time. So maybe someone's just needing to let go. Let go and take some time alone. That way you can really decide and really know what it's like to be without the person so you can know if you want to be with them or not. But definitely when, when you're dealing with something that is push and pull like this, or if you're trying to reach out to someone, they're not reachable because they're, they're busy trying to make things right in their life. Best thing to do is let go. If it comes back, then you'll know that it's meant to be. So that's like the sacrifice you're having to make. But you definitely need to, to find ways so that you're not confused. Find ways to get out of this confusion. Because that can be stressful. But I see with dream come true. And with this ten of pentacles and the fool. That you just may get what you want. I just feel like you need to avoid the stress as much as possible though. In the meantime. Because they are in love. They're just being affected by something here. Okay. So Aquarius. There's Gemini energy quite strongly here. Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Leo. Libra quite strongly so this is what I'm seeing hopefully this was helpful for you feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on leave a like if you enjoy thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one